Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gaming. And in this week's episode we have a beautiful petrol station, a fancy school, some blow up toys and some walking dead. Must mean only one thing guys. And up first we have Sven Berlin with his very unique signal tower. The building itself is a very unique shape, it's not one that I've come across myself but it's certainly one that will spice up your rail line so pop this in between two tracks and have yourself a very unique and pretty looking signal tower. Next up we have one of many from King Leno this week and this is the Blue Beacon Truck Wash. The building itself is Rico ready and has a lot size of 4x7. As you can see here the building has two open doorways for trucks to come in and sprice themselves up with a nice clean wash. I've not seen any truck washing facilities on the workshop yet, there's been a few car washes but again as always as we can expect from King Leno the detailing is fantastic. With the huge success of the ploppable asphalt, Ronix has returned with this ploppable pavement. So it does exactly the same as what the asphalt does, but it's the same textures as your pavements and comes in a variety of different shape as we can expect. And up next we have the Konohana Bridge by Jonable. This is a bridge based in Japan and the likeness is fantastic. You will need to add your own road in between this to create the actual bridge itself, but the model itself is absolutely beautiful. And while we have certainly been lacking some trendy, nice, modern looking bridges, and this will be a great addition to your city. Next up we have Tahachi269 with his utility pole decoration props. Now I particularly like this concept because a lot of buildings and streets that you see in real life do have a lot of these sort of posts and pylons all over the place but in City Skylines it usually just looks a bit messy so having something like this is a good thing to have to make a bit of detailing look attractive, certainly when it comes to utility poles. Up next is an asset I'm sure will be a great hit on the workshop, it's back to King Leno and this is his Love's Travel Centre. The set itself includes four assets, you've got the main building stroke store, the gas pumps, the truck pumps and the sign of course. The detail of the actual pumps are fantastic, I wasn't expecting to see such high detail on actually the pumps themselves so a great big thumbs up for me on that respect and the fact that it's combined with its own independent shop outside of the pumps really allows you to be a bit more creative with your placement. Another week, another upload for Exurbanite and this time it's his surf shop. And just like the other models, they are built very, very similarly, all Rico ready, 2x4, four, four regular plot, and well, a combination of all the ones he's released lately would look really nice on a high street. This week's hidden gem is going to be from Dub, with this selection of inflatables. Now these models look fantastic but one thing I would love to see is a individual prop of each or at least a selection so we can place those in swimming pools etc with the move it tool so hopefully we get to see that in the future. Next up we have Paul J Chris with the 5th Avenue New York City. 
The thumbnail really caught my eye in the workshop and the actual model itself did not disappoint once loaded. Fantastic textures and the building itself is a very unique um, shape and a fantastic model to put in your downtown. Up next is some more rubbish from Armesto. I'm joking, it's his waste container prop pack. Now these containers are not so similar to the ones I'm used to seeing in the UK. They're based for Lugo and well, if you're building something around that sort of area, these will be very suited for you. Fantastic models. In a previous episode we saw this creator Iron Wind with that fantastic ship and this week we have Lyceum which is a very unique building in terms of its shape and model. I was quite surprised to see that this model was actually, or well, is actually a school. Uh, the model itself looks fantastic and if it is a school, to me it looks certainly like a very expensive one to go to. Maybe a private school of some description but the model itself, you could get away of using it, it was quite a lot of different types. The nighttime view, again, fantastic. It's just an overall great model to add. Up next we have Jez with his Port Saint Martin. Now this model is a 17th century monument, so you're not expecting much from it. It's more of a fancy building to show off in your city. It's been a little while since we had a train station on the weekly asset roundup, but this week we do. It's Polygon and it's his Irwindale station. Now this station looks very sweet. In my opinion, it looks a very small sort of town station. I may be wrong. It is modeled on one, I believe, um, around LA. But the attention to detail on the actual platforms really deserves a feature this week. So great work and we look forward to the next station. And onto something that I'm very familiar with, this is the Walking Dead Alexandria Church, made by Los Gecko for my Walking Dead project series. Now this model was a request for myself and boy did Los Gecko deliver. Fantastic model and it's certainly one that I thought when we first spoke about this that I'm sure a lot of you could put into your American style towns and cities. So hopefully this gets used more than just in my Walking Dead series. And continuing on, not only did he create that, but he also created me the Alexandria Tower. And this is probably one of the first buildings that I've seen that is representing it being burnt down. So, fantastic modelling, it really did work well. Um, we did have a conversation about how we could achieve that and I pretty much left it to uh, Lost Gecko. And well, look at that. I couldn't ask for anything more than this model. Fantastic work and very appreciated of all his efforts. Continuing on from the Walking Dead theme, again, King Leno came to the rescue for my request for having some similar Alexandria buildings. So these buildings are available in six different houses with different colour variations of the wall and the roofs themselves. And well, what he achieved here is sensational and I can see that these buildings are going to be used in a lot of projects. They really do hit that American theme and well, it was great to work alongside King Leno. Up next we have the Japanese rural shops from Ronix and I must be honest, this nearly missed this episode. I saw it pop up on the uh, most recent assets and I had to get it in there because look at these. The detail on these are fantastic. I really do enjoy Ronix's detailing work. His texture levels are out of this world. The roofs, the walls, everything. It just works and it really does feel very Japanesey. And to conclude this week's asset roundup, we have another asset from King Leno and another one which was used in the Walking Dead build. These are the lower creed townhouses and boy, do they look good. 
I have not seen many townhouses on the workshop at all that are anywhere near this quality. The models are sensational, you get two variances and as you probably saw from my video you can combine the two together to create something looking a little bit more different but whether you combine the same ones together or not you will not be disappointed with these models in your city. Fantastic work and truly honoured to be able to use these first hand in my build. So thank you, thank you very much King Leno. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's asset roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.